There's a Gainesville race soldiers had pulled over, you know, one of our brothers by the name of Terrell Brooks. Well, the brother for some reason started to run from them and they end up sending a canine to try to get him. And when the canine ended up catching up with this brother, the brother ended up losing his eye. Yes. This is the first story I've ever covered where a brother lost his eye behind the dog. Let's go ahead and roll that. Outside of the Blunt Center demanding justice to the gruesome injuries Terrell Bradley suffered at the mouth of a Gainesville Police Department canine. Like I was horrified because I had known it was bad, I'd heard it was bad, but when I saw how bad it was, I was just so shocked and I knew that we had to let the rest of the community see. According to Gainesville police officials, Bradley fled from a traffic stop. Officers found a stolen gun in his vehicle. K-9 units were called to the scene and that's when they found Bradley an hour later hiding in nearby bushes. Images throughout the protest showed the damage the K-9 did to Bradley's face and body. Bradley's dad, who is a former GPD officer, spoke on the incident. I have been in situations where I saw that they haven't used K-9s favorably. I, I think they're just an extension. They are, they are a, a gun on a leech. And unfortunately, some of the officers that they have training the dogs uh, they think the dog reward is to be able to get a bite they say he was racially profiled because he didn't commit a traffic violation protesters like his cousin Tevin Bradley wore eye patches because Terrell lost his eye due to the incident he and others are demanding something be done the officer that was in charge of that came out release of his duties and the officer who uh, racially profiled him who pulled him over for no reason I want him to be released of his duties too. Nothing more, nothing less. GPD says they are investigating the incident and it may take 7 to 10 days for the conclusion of the review. They're charging him with possession of cannabis, possession of a firearm and ammunition by convicted felon, as well as resisting arrest. They're crying for their daddy. While his case plays out, a judge allows Bradley to stay home, where he can get medical treatment and spend time with his kids. I'm just so happy they're going to get a chance to hug him today, hopefully, prayerfully. Dozens of people filled the courtroom Tuesday morning to stand by Bradley. On July 10th, police accused him of running a stop sign here in his car and then running away from an officer on foot. Police say a canine tracked him down and they have not explained how exactly he got his injuries. Police say they found a gun in his car and about two grams of marijuana. His lawyer says he was legally possessing it. I have been informed that Mr. Mr. Bradley does have a marijuana car. Yolanda Means pushed for Terrell to be released while he awaits trial. His family says his injuries include two broken fingers, spinal fluid leakage, and the loss of his right eye. The judge agreed he should be able to go home on a couple of conditions. He will be released after the GPS monitoring and electronic monitoring is applied. Terrell's mother feels overwhelmed with joy. I am just ready to be able to wrap my arms around him. I want to squeeze him. That's my tea bear. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that what these race soldiers done was intentional because out of all the years I've been covering stories about canines and things like that, the canines have bit people on your leg, bite people on the arm, you know, that sort of thing, right? I've never seen them bite someone's eye. So it sounded like they had the guy on the ground, probably had him in handcuffs and still letting the dog bite him because he ran because everyone knows that if the police have to come get you, they're going to beat you or do something to you every time. That's why if you choose to run from them, make sure you get away. If you choose to do that because they're God forbid, they got to catch you. That's part of that job. But you can't tell me that they didn't intentionally make that dog bite that brother like that. Come on now behind a gun, which we're supposed to have a second amendment rights in this country, right? And marijuana, they say he had a marijuana card. You know, my position on marijuana, but Hey, I mean, if he had legally possessed it, he legally possessed it. But this is what they do to black folks. You saw his dad, what well, used to be a cop over there. And, and they still do things like this. That's why I say black officers, they don't respect black officers. They don't respect their families, their children or anything. Hell, they don't even respect black police chiefs because they're the white supremacists and they devils. 
But hopefully this brother will get those charges dropped and definitely, definitely need to sue the city for sure. At minimum, this brother lost his eyesight in one eye behind it by a crooked race soldier with that dog. They love to use a dog on, on, on black folk. They've been doing that ever since the slavery times. But y'all let me know in the comments y'all think about this, you know, particular stories is horrible. You know, yes, he can get a lawsuit and sure he can get millions of dollars, but it doesn't bring his eyesight back.